standardized field sobriety tests are commonly used during the investigation phase of a DUI. The government heavily relies on these tests to help validate probable cause to arrest and in their attempt to convince a jury of a defendant's guilt of DUI. Welcome, my name is David Jolly and today on One Minute Monday, I discuss these mysterious and often misunderstood field sobriety tests. Beginning in 1975, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, also known as NHTSA, sponsored research that led to the development of standardized methods for police when evaluating motorists who they suspected of DUI. In 1981, NHTSA produced three standardized field sobriety tests which are still in use today. The first of these standardized field sobriety tests is the horizontal gaze nystagmus. This test is an eye test, and there are six clues, three in each eye, that the officer is looking for when conducting this test. The walk and turn test, usually the second test conducted, has the subject walk nine heel to toe steps on a straight line, turn, and walk nine steps back to the point of origin. The officer is looking for eight clues. Finally, the one leg stand is a balanced test requiring the participant to stand on one leg with their hands at their sides and hold this position for 30 seconds. There are four clues in this test. Finally, if asked to participate in these voluntary tests, the general consensus amongst attorneys is to politely decline. For more information on field sobriety tests, including how these tests are improperly used and abused, or other legal issues, please subscribe to our channel or read our blog.